And they managed to be even a little bit ahead of time, but I don't think it will hurt because we have an extremely tight schedule to just continue with our program. So I'll introduce Professor Sterdats Karaman is going to lead the next se session. Karaman is not only a faculty in Leeds, but he's also a grad, uh, an alum of Leeds. So thank you, sir. Thank you so much, John, and thank you, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. As, as John mentioned, my name is Sartaj Karaman. I'm a Leeds faculty and a Leeds alum. Um, and I'm honored to introduce the session on systems control and optimization. And um, I'd like to start with uh, a bit of a personal story. Uh, just 10 years ago, on November 12th to 14, in 2009, we've celebrated the 70th year, uh, 70th anniversary of LIDS. And at that time, I was a third year graduate student. I had finished my master's in mechanical engineering and had just started my PhD two months ago in the electrical engineering department. And I was sitting in the audience and listening to this program. And you would think that right now I would come here and talk a little bit about the present and the future of this field and, and tell you a little bit, but I'm happy to say that we have so many uh, distinguished panelists and speakers who will do that. And so what I'd like to do is that I'd like to take three minutes to mention a few people who we're honoring today and a few others who've been leading us. Um, I'd like to start with Ellen Milsky, um, who was a lab director 10 years ago. And I'd like to start with a personal story. When I was a second year graduate student, Ellen approached, approached me and he said, um, Sartaj, I'm going to be doing a talk at this conference for our 70th year anniversary called Pats Ahead. And in this Pats Ahead conference, I'd like to talk about the history of LIDS. Can you go to the MIT Museum and dig in some pictures and find for us some historical pictures of LIDS that I can show? And as a second year graduate student, I went to the MIT Museum and started digging in and found many things that inspired me at that time to continue to today. And they include amazing photos of our faculty, the time that they started, and amazing magazines that you would flip through to see what they were doing at that time. I will start with the faculty picture of Ellen. As you can see, <laughs> as you can see, not much has changed except the jacket and the tie. I, Ellen may be regretting the time that he sent me to the museum 10 years ago now. And I'll show you a few more. As you can see, Ellen and his colleagues have been really influential working on control systems. I took this out of the magazine. I photographed the magazine literally. And in the caption, it said, Professors Ellen Milsky, Tim Johnson, Neil Sandel Jr. are interested in developing theory and algorithms for the analysis and control of dynamic systems. You can take a look at Ellen's board. I can see a control system. I think there are some transfer functions. 1 over s can be observed. And there's some more complicated phenomena that is happening that they're working on. Uh, it's good to mention that Neil Sandel Jr. Um, and others later left uh, MIT to found a company called Alphatech, which was later acquired by BAE Systems, and they founded that with Ellen Milsky. Um, also, Mike Athens that we mentioned. As I went through Mike Athens' pictures, um, I found this one, where it's clear that he's working on optimal control, and he's focusing on deterministic systems uh, with a bunch of his colleagues. And also, Sanjoy Mitter. Uh, Sanjoy Mitter's work with um, with Mike Athens has been mentioned in the magazine many times. If you read it through, you'll see that it says Sanjay Mitter and Mike Athens, uh, at the time the director of the Electronic Systems Laboratory, are concerned with the basic theory of systems, optimization, estimation, stochastic, and adaptive control. And it also says that they're applying theoretical tools to such diverse problems as control of aircraft transportation systems, economic systems, communications, and networks. I don't know if you can read their board, but I took some time last night to LaTeX it for you. This is what it says. <laughs> And so as you can see, deterministic systems now become stochastic, but there is no input. <laughs> and for the part of the input, I'd like to kind of mention, um, among, in, other than the people that we're honoring today, you know, two of our leaders, of course, um, starts with people uh, who are more recent hires or who are more recent faculty joining LIDS, but not recent enough to escape MIT Museum to take their pictures and put it into the archives. And it starts with Munzar Dali. Uh, who has led us through the formation of IDSS and is the director of IDSS today, and who is here amazing a colleague splitting the universe of models into stochastic and deterministic. And also John Sisiklis, who is the director of LIDS. And this is the photo of John Sisiklis as it codes there as a new faculty starting in the department. You can see there's a blackboard behind, but it is so complicated I couldn't understand and decipher. And some of the other pictures just include pen and paper. 
And the picture says John Sisiklis is interested in distributed computation, decentralized decision making. His interests also include the analysis and control of stochastic systems. And those days that John Sisiklis started as a young faculty are, are behind. He is now our fearless leader. Uh, together with John Sisiklis and Munzar Dale, as I mentioned, the leaders and the influencers, the past leaders of today, have contributed to this field tremendously, but especially Professor Dimitri Baksekas, who we honor in this session. So on that note, I would like to invite Angelia Nedic to the stage, uh, who will make a few remarks about Dimitri Baksekas and his contributions. Angelia has gotten two PhDs, and, um, and one of those PhDs was supervised here in Lids by Dimitri Baksekas. She has then worked at AlphaTech uh, for a few years, uh, the company that I mentioned that Ellen Milsky has co-founded, and then she's joined the University of Illinois faculty, and then finally she has joined um, Arizona State University. Please welcome Angelina Ditch.